Greenwood, big switch, lovely pass. Bagley retreating, and turned out to be the right call. Raises her thumb in acknowledgement of that pass. Made to measure, Hemp went for the lobbed finish, but... Carapali trying to get up there, Robinson as well. Turland! Well, the first shot on target comes from Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, the flag was raised in any event. Brighton contested. And it's a useful one too, Greenwood was up there! Didn't deal with it properly though, City, and they get a little bit lucky. Lovely pass, Hemp onto it, Fagali across, but can't keep it out. And Lauren Hemp gives Manchester City the lead. Scores in back-to-back -back games, the England international in the game away at Manchester City earlier this season. I just think she might have been a bit disappointed here. Fowler to Jess Park, who spotted the run of Hemp. It's an excellent pass from there, and having got a hand to it, I imagine that Bagley will be disappointed not to have kept it out. Now, here goes Hemp. And still, great run. And the hit deflected behind off Bergsvan. Greenwood taking this free kick. Short up there and sends it over. Around the corner for Kasparai, who will get to it. Shaw waits for it. Kasparai goes for it. Bagley with the save. Well, this was the chance. Kasparai saw the opportunity to chance her arm. It's heading in, isn't it, until Bagley gets across to parry to safety. Good try from Kasparai. Or in from Hemp. Fowler! Manchester City double their lead. Mary Fowler arriving to smash into the net beyond Bagley. And Gareth Taylor's side have clear daylight now. Scored the first. She sets up the second, the clearance from Bagley, and then the quick one-two between Coombs and Hemp, who spotted Fowler, and she did the rest clinically. Great give and go, wasn't it? Brilliant ball in, and an expert finish from Fowler. And that could be a very, very vital goal for Manchester City. Well, Manchester City have a healthy advantage at the interval and are on course to move back level on points with Chelsea at the summit of the WSL. Mary Fowler's clinical finish coming after a fine goal. Lee Mengwen is the replacement. Mengwen. Hemp, good drop of the shoulder. Lauren Hemp! Oh, so close to a stunner. Lovely little dummy to create the pocket of space, and it was almost inch perfect when she went for the curler. November, it came in the 81st minute. Here's Fowler, meanwhile. Fowler again. She's gone for goal. And just a touch too high with the effort. Not a bad try from Fowler. Greenwood to have a go! Beaten away by Bagley. This was that strike from Greenwood, which... Uh, Packerly got fully behind. <laughs> Useful ball, and there's the third. And Khadija Shaw gets her customary goal against Brighton and Hove Albion. Against Albion in the WSL.
And once more, Brighton simply switched off here. Far too much room for Yui Hasegawa to pick the pass. And it was too easy for Khadija Shaw at the back stick to get up and get a free header. On from Kasparai. Fowler. Oh, it's four. Laura Coombs gets in on the act to finish off a slick City move. Well, after that cup disappointment, they are right back at it in the WSL. Kasparai on for Fowler. Her cutback was into the perfect place for Laura Coombs, who swept it home first time with the minimum of fuss. Manchester City hit four at Brighton. And there is still time for them to get more goals that might well send them clear at the top tonight. Fine strike from Coombs. Now Terlin sends it wide nicely. Oh, and Brighton have a goal. Lee Kun Min has scored against them once again. Well, nothing more than a consolation for Brighton in matches against their old employers. Well, she has now scored or assisted in all five of her appearances in the W. Manchester City move back to within touching distance of Chelsea at the summit of the WSL. Gareth Taylor's team only adrift of the champions on goal difference after a comfortable success at Brighton.